Welcome to the playground. My name is Laura Dell and I'm with the Miami-Dade County Parks, Recreation and Open Spaces Sea Turtle Conservation Program. We monitor about 19 miles of beach within all of Miami-Dade County. We look for new nests. Once we find a new nest, we monitor it throughout its incubation period until it hatches. And then once it hatches, we conduct uh, hatch success evaluations on it. So whenever a nest hatch, we call it a boil. Um, the, the entire clutch of eggs or the entire nest, uh, they typically hatch all at once. And the way they get out of the nest is they use what is called, we call an elevator effect. They crawl and they help each other. So when they all start to crawl up out of the sand, that kind of pushes that sand uh, to the bottom, which kind of then pushes them out of the top of the sand. Once they reach the surface, you may find them, or you might see them kind of just taking a breather there at the top, because that's a lot of work for them. So they might kind of catch their breath before they make their way to the ocean. One nest will typically have between 80 and 120 eggs in it. And then once that nest hatches and they make it to the water, that survival rate typically is between one and a thousand to maturity. So sea turtles are what we call a keystone species. So they are uh, native to this area. They're very important. Without sea turtles, our ecosystems break down and a lot of other things kind of snowball effect from that point. So we have three different species of sea turtles that nest in Miami-Dade County. Uh, the most prominent species of sea turtle is the loggerhead sea turtle. About 95% of our nests are loggerheads. One way that people can get involved to help protect sea turtles is to, when you're at the beach, knock your sand castles over at the end of the day, fill in your holes that you dig, um, you know, pick up any trash that might be out on here. I always like to say, leave a place cleaner than what you find it. Uh, you can also, if you live on the beach, you can also turn your lights off at night sea turtles instinctively will crawl towards the brightest horizon and uh, artificial lighting will uh, make them crawl the wrong direction. So when they come across a turtle nest, uh, we ask that you do not disturb it, do not walk through the nest. You know, we have, we have our stakes set up and we have that pink flagging tape up uh, for a reason. It's there to keep you out. You know, once those eggs are deposited in the ground that is then federally protected ground. Our program here in the in Miami-Dade County has been around since the 80s. Um, we have, you know, we have surveyed every single year since then. Our nesting season runs from May 1st through October 31st at which our surveyors are out here every single day. So if you find a sick, injured, or dead sea turtle or hatchling, we ask that you give our program a call. We have a 24-hour e-line. If for some reason you can't get a hold of us, please call the FWC Wildlife Alert Hotline. I love my job because I get to be out here every day. I get to help protect an endangered species. Sea turtles are a really cool and fascinating species. Uh, if you don't know much about them, I recommend you know, doing a little bit of research and start to learn about them because they are a very, very fascinating uh, creature.